Hello. So if you can't seem to escape the phrase founder mode in your socials and your, your startup conversations these days, and you're kind of confused as to why that is, I wanted to give you a little context. Uh, Paul Graham, who's the co-founder of Y Combinator, which you've likely heard of, uh, regularly composes really thoughtful essays, whether you agree or disagree with what he has to say. They're always thoughtful, well-written, easy to comprehend essays. His latest essay is called Founder Mode. And in it, he's recounting a talk he heard Brian Chesky, the co-founder of Airbnb, and a YC alum give at a recent meeting. And as he's going through it, he is really exploring the concept of there being a, a founder mode, which is startup founder and how they tend to operate their company and a manage mode and the manage mode being how more traditional management might navigate and manage the resources of a company. And then his, his question is, is founder mode better? for companies and growth beyond the startup stage or is transitioning into manage mode better and and the the conclusion is really we haven't had the chance to study founder mode that long so uh jury's still out but looks promising so i just wanted to read one little section uh, in this to give you additional context between founder mode and manage mode as paul says in effect, there are two different ways to run a company, founder mode and manager mode. Till now, most people in Silicon Valley have implicitly assumed that scaling a startup meant switching to manager mode, but we can infer the existence of another mode from the dismay of founders who've tried it and the success of their attempts to escape it. And so founder mode, manager mode, the two competing modes for potentially running a business. Now, what I think is most amazing about this is not only the way it's blown up and like founder mode is everywhere, you can't get away from it. Uh, in fact, on the Portland startup Slack, Jeff Martins, who uh, who also runs North Left, uh, kind of commented uh, somewhat snarkily, are we even a startup community if we're not discussing founder mode right now? Which then resulted in like a thread of 40 responses or something like that. But anyway, I think the most interesting thing about this to me, always interesting when uh, when PG does a new essay and, and people take sides and argue it and, and discuss it. But I think what he's done perhaps as well as he's ever done is, is kind of capture a concept in a phrase. And I will say that this did remind me of a post that's almost 10 years old at this point, but caught a similar kind of ethos and vibe in the startup community. And that's the default dead or default alive. Sorry, I probably got that wrong. Default alive or default dead essay that he wrote in, in October of 2015. So time and time again, I think the, the thing that PG is so good at doing is kind of encapsulating a concept in a phrase and and then people really glomming onto that phrase and, and arguing both sides of it. So if you're seeing founder mode all over the place, that's why you're probably going to continue to see it the same way you'll see default alive, default dead continue to pop up time and time again. But I at least wanted to give you that explanation. I will link up the uh, the various essays, both both founder mode and default alive or default dead below so that you can read them. And, you know, it's always a good idea to keep an eye on the essays that Paul Graham is composing. All right. So there's your founder mode versus manager mode and why you're seeing everybody, Silicon Valley, startups everywhere talking about founder mode.